Ever think, man, if only my chatbot could really understand me? Yeah, we did too. Chat, GPT, and Google Bar did a fair job, but we've just signed up to Gemini Advanced. Prepare to have your mind blown, folks. Gemini is so advanced, it's gonna knock GPT off top spot, for real. So why all the hype around Gemini? Well, think of it as Google's latest and greatest brainchild in the world of AI. Its formal title is Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network. That's just a fancy way of saying this AI is ridiculously smart. We're talking text, images, videos, fancy 3D models. You name it, Gemini handles it all. This AI isn't just good, it's a multitasking, supercharged ninja with a serious kick. But here's the thing that makes Gemini really stand out. It ain't just one AI model. Imagine a whole team of super intelligent AI specialists working together. That's Gemini. And all those brains are combined to give you the most accurate and constructive results you could possibly imagine. Let's face it, most chatbots are kind of stiff, right? Well, Gemini blows that notion right out of the water. It's interactive, creative, and way more like talking to a real person. Need your output as text, an image, maybe even a short video? Gemini figures out what you need and rolls with it. But here's where it gets wild. Gemini doesn't just copy stuff it's seen before. It gets inspired. You could give it a rough sketch and boom, polished artwork appears. Or maybe toss it a snippet of a song and you'll get a full-blown story coming out the other side. This isn't some boring search engine disguised as AI. Gemini's got a true creative spark. And it can even understand and answer questions that involve different kinds of information. That's what's called multimodal question answering. Let's say you show Gemini a book cover and ask, who wrote this? Boom, you'll have the answer, Rapido. Or you whip out a picture of some weird looking bug and say, what on earth is this thing? Gemini will tell you all about it. It's like having a super smart friend who knows about everything from books to beetles. And if you thought that was cool, then get ready for this. It can reason. Like seriously think. With multimodal reasoning, Gemini can take information from all sorts of places, video, text, whatever, and put it all together to figure stuff out. Let's say you show it a movie clip. Gemini doesn't just see a bunch of action or pretty scenes. Multimodal reasoning means it can answer crazy complex questions like, what's the whole point of this movie? It's not just watching visuals. It's understanding how characters interact, finding the hidden messages in the film, the whole deal. It's kind of like having your own film critic giving you a total breakdown of what a movie is really about. And if you've ever had that writer's block feeling, like you just can't get started, Gemini can be your creative writing partner. Just give it a few lines to kick things off and it'll weave a whole story for you. And it's not just about words either. Ask it for a cool image to go with your writing. And bam, your masterpiece gets a visual upgrade too. Or say you're streaming a foreign film, but it's got no subtitles. Drives you crazy, right? Gemini will listen to the audio, translate it perfectly, and provide captions on the fly. Perhaps you stumble on a super interesting historical document, but it's in German, and you don't spracken Z German. Gemini can read that old text, then spit out a modern English translation, as if it's reading the morning news. Okay team, let's get nerdy and look inside Gemini's super smart brain. Under the hood, you've got two big parts working together, the encoder and the decoder. Think of the encoder as your fancy translator. It takes stuff like images, videos, whatever, and converts it into a language the whole system understands. Then, the decoder steps in. It reads the translated info and figures out what to do with it. Got a picture and need a caption. The encoder breaks down the image. The decoder crafts those words you see under it. That's how Gemini gets creative. And compared to those other AI big shots like GPT-4, Gemini's got serious skills. Think about how your brain works. You can look at a picture, read about it, even hear a related song, and your brain makes connections without much effort. Gemini aims to do the same because it speaks all these languages, image, video, text, and it can see a wider picture. That means tasks like creating a whole presentation from a couple of keyword ideas. Easy for Gemini, but near impossible for an AI only trained on text. See what we're saying? That encoder-decoder system we talked about 
cuts out a lot of the back and forth those older AI models need. The encoder does the initial heavy lifting of the translation, meaning the decoder can jump straight into being creative. Instead of your results taking ages to show up, Gemini feels almost instantaneous compared to what you're used to. AI isn't magic. It learns just like us, but way faster. But older models sometimes get stuck in their ways, not handling new info too well. Gemini's design is all about flexibility. Throw a weird, off-the-wall question at it, and instead of freaking out, Gemini is more likely to adapt, figure out what you mean, and surprise you with how well it performs. It's just built differently. This thing is crazy adaptable. And here's another big perk. Gemini is a lightweight champ. You know how some AI hogs your computer's power? Well, Gemini is surprisingly easy to run, even on normal setups. Plus, the way it's built means it can learn as datasets grow, so you're not constantly waiting for it to catch up. Its ability to scale means bigger datasets and faster learning, keeping it way ahead of the curve. All right, who says size doesn't matter? When it comes to these big AI brains, everyone looks at those parameters. Think of them like the knowledge nuggets stored in the AI. The more nuggets, the smarter it gets, right? That means better predictions, weirder creative ideas, that kind of thing. Now, GPT-4 is a total beast, something like a trillion parameters. That's huge. But here's the thing, size isn't the whole story. More parameters mean the AI needs a monster computer to work, which is tricky. And here's where Google throws us a curveball. Gemini comes in flavors. Gecko, Otter, Bison, and the legendary Unicorn. Google's keeping the parameter count secret for now, but those names kind of give us a clue. Unicorn is the heavy hitter, maybe close to matching GPT-4. Okay, people, we hope you're starting to realize why we're freaking out about Gemini. This stuff is next level powerful. And if you want a comparison to Gemini, watch this video right here on ChatGPT Turbo. So, what does this mean for the future of AI? Google's taking on the heavyweight champ, ChatGPT, and because of this, we're going to see applications popping up that leverage crazy skills, with way better user experiences and solutions. Imagine personalized assistants that actually understand you, the way you communicate, not just textbook language. The future is bright, friends. Embrace the dawn of a new era.